More and more people are saying no way to Austin and they are moving further outside of Austin. Let's talk about those cities. Jeremy at the Night Group, your favorite Austin realtor. You know what's interesting is if even if you look at the growth maps around Austin, you're seeing that the prices in around closer to downtown are not appreciating as the same as outside. And I did a video not long ago saying the top places people were moving to, but I looked at who was actually moving and the amount of people moving and it was all pretty much north. So today we're going to talk about the I-35 corridor because look, a lot of people are saying I am out. I'm not going to move to Austin. The median price is almost $600,000. The median price of the MSA is around four seventy-five. dollars So you're looking at prices, you're seeing that interest rates go up, building costs go up, all that stuff. And so people are saying, you know what, forget it. I'm moving further out. So we're going to talk about those cities along the I-35 corridor, which are the great cities that I think if you're an investor, you need to be looking at. Because as an investor, I am buying along the I-35 corridor myself. And I'm hearing more and more of my my clients say, you know what, I'm going to go to these cities that we're going to talk about today. And make sure you drop a comment below. Are there areas I'm not talking about that you want to hear about? Are there neighborhoods, new build neighborhoods that you want to hear about? Drop a comment below. We definitely want to hear from you. So the first city on my list is one that people ask me about all the time, but are offended because I don't talk about it, but I do talk about it. And that's Buda. Now I love Buda. Look, the schools are rated by niche.com as an A. So that's always a positive. And it's about 25 minutes of downtown. Plus now if you're living on the west side, and there's a really great neighborhood that we'll talk about on the west side, it's a lot easier to get to downtown because the 1626 has been built out. And then you have the I-45 uh, connection, which gets you to Mopac. Oh my gosh, am I in California again? Anyway, the west side gets you up to a downtown a little bit faster than going down I-35. So that's really good information for you. But look, Buda, the median price around Buda is 437000 So that's pretty nice. And if you look at neighborhoods like Carpenter Hill, which is a brand new neighborhood, you can get pretty nice 21, 2200 square foot homes in that you know 550 to 650 range. They have Perry Homes that's building out there right now, and there's a few left. So a uh, really great area for that. Now, if you're going to go over the east side, you do have Sunfield, which I've talked about pretty extensively. And the reason why I don't like Sunfield is primarily this, and that's just because the tax rate's high. Other than that, it's a great community. they got pocket parks, a lot of fun. You know what's great about Buda is they do a lot of events in Buda as well. And so I think that's really important if you want to have that nice community feel. And if you've ever been to the downtown Buda area, it is absolutely gorgeous. So close to downtown, pretty good rated schools, and you can get a price under 500000 in there. I mean, that's going to get you like a three bed, two bath around four fifty seven in the Elm Grove, Garlic Creek area. So that brings me to the next on this list, which is Kyle. Now, I have talked about Kyle extensively on this channel. The growth that's going on in Kyle is pretty phenomenal. We've had the mayor of Kyle on our YouTube channel. I think Kyle is one of those cities that's really working hard to embrace the growth of Tesla and embrace the growth that's coming from the Austin area. So I think this is an area that you have to keep on your list. And if you go over and look at the schools, the schools are rated a B plus through niche.com. So that's great. Kyle, I mean, you're looking about a 40 minute drive to downtown, maybe a little less, 35 minutes, 30 minutes. But Kyle is one of those areas you have crosswinds, which is being built out there. My favorite builder is Highland Homes. They're going out there. Look at this. Also, in Kyle, they're building like a domain. I don't know what they're going to call it yet, uh, it, but it is out in the Plum Creek area. So they're really developing the Plum Creek area. And if you go over to the east side, they're going to do some more commercial development over there. And the median price for Kyle is 382000 so definitely lower than those Austin areas and definitely lower than Buda. But there is a new neighborhood that's been announced. It's kind of on that edge of Buda, Kyle, and Niederwald. And it's going to bring 2,200 homes out there. So this is going to be pretty exciting. DR Horton is one of the builders out there. This neighborhood's really not going to start being built until, you know, later in 2023. But this is what I've seen with Kyle. They're embracing the growth. And if you're an investor, a great spot to be looking is in these areas. Another great neighborhood would be Six Creeks. It's kind of in that southwest area of Kyle. Also Cypress Forest. So several homes in Cypress Forest. Be careful though. The tax rate can be a little high. It's around 3%. So I love Kyle. Keep it on your list. I know a lot of people we're moving there. All right, let's just keep going down the I-35 and let's look at San Marcos. Now, San Marcos, you're about a 40-minute drive to downtown. 
Austin, and you're not that bad going the other direction if you're gonna head to San Antonio. You're probably about 45 minutes to San Antonio, so almost the perfect equidistant spot in the middle. The schools rated by niche are a B. Now there's a lot of great neighborhoods being built in and around the San Marcos area. Plus you have one big draw for San Marcos is the outlets, and then you have the university there. You know, you have a state, a, a state college there. A lot of people are looking at San Marcos because it's right in the middle between Austin and San Antonio. Investors, I have a lot of investors that ask me about that. And look, the median price is 355,000 around there. So you can find homes. So as an investor, I like to be under 450, so great spot for that. So a great neighborhood to look at would be like La Cima. This is on the west side. You have Highland Homes, Coventry Homes, Perry Homes, Taylor Morrison. So I really do think that this is a great spot to be on the west side. You know, prices in there, you're gonna be in the sixes most likely, but this is gonna be close to like downtown San Marcos. So you're gonna be able to go through and you know float the river and do all that fun stuff in San Marcos. I really do love San Marcos. I like to go float the river. I like to go to their downtown and walk their downtown. It's definitely a little bit bigger than Kyle and Buta's downtown. So that's what I like about that. Plus, like I said, the outlets are there. So San Marcos is definitely something you should be keeping on your list if you don't need to be 15 minutes to downtown Austin. Okay, the next on my list is my absolute favorite. This is my absolute favorite. In fact, me as an investor, I am building out in New Brunfels. New Brunfels is one of my favorite, favorite places. You have Green Hall right there. And it's just a great, you have the rivers going through there. Green Hall's fantastic. In fact, the, the property we're building, literally you will come out of the neighborhood and Green Hall's right there. The food's great in the area, the atmosphere is great. A lot of bands and music go on there. And look, New Brunfels is one of those places that everybody's deciding to move to. And if you look at the school district, it's rated an A. You know, you have two different school districts, uh, Comal ISD and New Brunfels ISD, but overall New Brunfels is rated an A. So definitely do your due diligence with the schools. But look, New Braunfels is about a 45 minute to drive to downtown. You're closer to San Antonio. So that's pretty awesome. My favorite neighborhood out there is gonna be Vera Mendy. You're looking about 600s in there, but the overall price point in and around the New Braunfels area is gonna be about $352,000. So quite a bit lower than Austin. You don't have to be in Austin, right? You're about a 45 minute drive and you can still do all the fun stuff in Austin like what I talked about in one of my videos the other day. And you get a really nice community and there's so much development. That community I talked about, Vera Mende, they're gonna put some really cool commercial stuff out there. You're just gonna be like another mini green hall right there in your community. So a lot of great things going on out there. Now, if you wanna get closer into San Antonio, definitely look at the shirts area. We do cover all of this area Area. So if you do have questions about any of these areas, definitely reach out. Seguin would be another one. You can actually get, and we were about to get a client under contract for around the 300 price point for a 1,700 square foot home. I felt that that was a great deal in Seguin. Seguin's beautiful. So all these areas between Austin and San Antonio on the I-35 are becoming super popular because you're not seeing that same price as Austin. And look, San Antonio was rated like number four in top cities for 2022 growth. I don't think it'll end up number four. I think Austin will probably end up beating San Antonio, but that's just me. I'm biased because I'm from, <laughs> I live in Austin. So what do you think? Drop a comment below. Do you think that all of these areas are good places for people to look? Let's hear from you. We'll catch you in the next video and always drop a comment. I want to hear how I'm doing.